Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to implement stored procedures in Web API to store images into a project folder and image path into SQL Server database. Now here we got the final output. After we changing the column headings, now let's select the file, choose file, the image checklist box transfer I'm selecting that one open save images and here we got a message image saved successfully let's check in the folder show all files see see here the image is successfully saved in this images folder now let's check in the database execute and here we got the new results after we changed the columns the image name is this one and the image path here before we got the image path in the image name and the image path column we got the image name that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in web api First, we'll create a new table in SQL Server Management Studio. After that, we'll create a new stored procedure. I just logged into my SQL Server Management Studio. I'm expanding the root folder as well as the databases. And notice the new DB is my user database. I want to create a new table. Select the new DB database, right click the mouse. I'm selecting new query. Now, let's create a table. Create table image save path is a table name let's add the column names image id integer type not now primary key identity column one comma one image name and var 150 comma and the last one is the image path and var maximum size Let's create a table execute and here we got a message comment completed successfully. Let's expand the new DB database as well as the tables folder. Our table name is the image save path. Here it is. I click the mouse. Let's browse the table. Select top thousand rows. And right now this table contains zero rows. Now the next step will create a stored procedure to insert the image data the same new db database come to the bottom there is a programmability folder expand that one and the programmability there is a subfolder called stored procedures right click the stored procedures click new stored procedure and here we got the default stored procedure code what i'm doing i'm deleting this default stored procedure name and the parameters here i'm adding my stored procedure name insert image details I'm declaring I'm adding the parameters image name and var 150 and the second parameter is the image path and var maximum size and the first column is the image id which is the auto generated column so I'm not adding here now delete this select statement in the create procedure instead of select instead of select statement i'm adding the insert statement insert into the table name is image save path copy that one and paste here values at image name the parameter and the second parameter is the image path that's it let's create the stored procedure execute and here we got a message command completed successfully let's expand the stored procedures folder and notice our stored procedure is added successfully in this stored procedures folder insert image details now let's open visual studio to create web api to store images into a folder and image path into sql server database using this stored procedure 
for this video tutorial I'm creating a new web API application go to file new project and from the web templates I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1 the application name is web API store procedure image save click OK and from the ASP.NET templates I'm selecting web API click OK and the project is created successfully let's close this default window open solution explorer first in this project I'm adding adword.net entity data model right click the project name add adword.net entity data model the item model name is insert image click ok and from the model contents I'm selecting the first option EF designer from database click next I'm creating a new SQL server connection I'm adding SQL server name after adding SQL server name I'm selecting the database name the database name is a new DB we have created the table and the store procedures in this new DB database so I'm selecting this new DB test connection is succeeded ok ok and here we got our connection string the connection string name is a new DB entities and I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file click next let's select the objects from the selected database I'm expanding the tables folder as well as DBO the table is the table name is image save path image save path I'm selecting that one after that come to the bottom there is a stored procedures and functions folder expand that one as well as a DBO our stored procedure name is the insert image details insert image details I'm selecting the one click finish and here we got the entity model is added with the table and the stored procedure objects after adding the entity model next open solution explorer minimize the references folder now let's add a controller in this controllers folder right click the controllers add controller I'm selecting web API to controller empty and the controller name is image path save is my API controller name add and here we got our API controller image path save now with this controller first I'm importing the namespaces using the first namespace I'm adding when we're dealing with files we require the IVO namespace so system dot IVO namespace after that I'm adding using system dot web namespace after adding these two namespaces uh, so public I HTTP action result insert images image insert image is a method and this method is the HTTP post HTTP post after that in the action result first in this action result function I am adding the functionality to create a folder dynamically so string create folder is equals to HTTP context dot current dot server dot map path in this map path between double quotes I'm adding tilt forward slashes between forward slashes I'm adding the images which is a folder name I want to create in our project folder if you notice there is no any images folder right now in this project after that if 
not directory dot exist if the directory is not exist we'll create a directory add the variable string variable in this if condition directory dot create directory method in this the create directory method takes a string path the path we are getting from this variable create folder add that one that's it we have just created the folder dynamically this images folder after that we'll save the images into this folder if http context dot current dot request dot files dot files dot all keys dot any method first I'm creating a key for the upload images variable upload file is equals to http context dot current dot request dot files between double quotes I'm adding the, the key name img save and this key name will use in the jquery to save the images if upload file is not equals to null if you notice the if condition the upload file is not equals to null means we have selected the file through upload controller and that file I want to save this images folder variable save image img is a variable uh, path dot combine method in this combine method I am adding this the path first I am adding the folder then we will add the selected file name so upload file dot file name the file name we are getting from this variable upload file semicolon then let's save the file upload file dot save as semicolon this save image that's it we have saved the selected file in this images folder now the image name and image path we have to save in this table image save path using this stored procedure so let's add the connection string our connection string entity name is a uh, new db entities and is an object new new db entities semicolon and the dot here I'm adding our uh, store procedure name which is uh, insert image details let's add that one insert image details this insert image details takes two parameters string image name and image path because in our store procedure we have two parameters passing image name and image path so the image name we are getting from the save image comma and the image path this one upload file dot file name semicolon after that and the dot save changes method and the last one after this if condition a return ok method that's it we have written the complete coding part in this web API first we have created this images folder after that we are saving the selected image into this images folder then the image name and image path we are storing in the database using store procedures now before consume this web API in MVC and jQuery first we require this web API URL Let's browse this web API Google Chrome. 
and here we got the default output of that project which is the home page now we require the web api url after the host name the domain name forward slash api forward slash let's add the web api controller name which is uh, the image path save the api controller name i'm adding enter and here we got the results of this web api uri in xml file format it's showing some error message the requested resource does not support http method get because we are posting the data http post so don't worry about this error message we just require this web api url after we got this web api url now let's consume this web api url in mvc stop debugging open solution explorer now in the same controllers folder i am adding mvc controller right click the controllers folder add controller now this time i am selecting mvc file controller empty add the controller name is img is my M mvc controller name add And here we got our MVC controller IMG image. I'm not writing any coding part here in this MVC controller. I just require this index view page. For that, I have created the MVC controller. So before adding the index view page to this project, first we have to build the application first. Build, build solution. And project builds successfully let's close this output message box select the index method action result index method right click the mouse i'm selecting add view the view name is index only the template empty without model i'm not selecting any templates here click add And here we got our index view page. Now in this first in this index view page, I'm adding the center tag, center tag. Let's close this center tag after the headers. I'm changing the headers. Upload file, image files images into folder and image path into SQL server database using stored procedure in using stored procedures in web api using mvc with jquery after that i am adding horizontal line let's add this header h4 after the horizontal line i am adding a simple table element with a border one tr TD, the first TD is upload files and the second TD I'm adding the file upload control open toolbox in the HTML folder there is an input file element just add that one and I'm adding the property accept to only the images image forward slash asterisk now create a next tr td now in this td i'm adding a simple html button control open toolbox input type button the value i'm changing save images then the next td i'm adding the span tag to display the messages id is equals to 
mess and I'm adding the bold tag bold with style and color style is equals to color column green color semicolon let's close a bold color and I'm adding this bold color after this pan tag that's it we have done the designing part we got the file upload controller and button controller with one span tag to display the message the image is saved or not now let's consume the web API using jQuery so when we are implementing jQuery when we are implementing the jQuery functionality the first thing we require the jQuery reference link to get the jQuery reference link open solution explorer in the project there is a scripts folder expand that one notice here we got the bunch of jQuery links here I just require the jQuery 1.10.2.min.js this link I'm just throwing this link on our index dot index page after that let's add the snippet to save the images into the images folder and the image name and image path into SQL server database dollar document dot ready function semicolon in this ready function we are saving the files with the button control so dollar between double quotes the HTML element ID I'm adding the button control ID which is a button one hash button one dot on method the on method takes two parameters the first one is the event which is a click event comma function semicolon now in this on function I'm adding the form data method class now to insert to insert the records I'm implementing the form data class for that variable data is equals to new form data the form data method is helpful to append the records which records the file upload the selected file upload records I want to save variable image save is equals to dollar between between double quotes I'm adding the file upload controller ID which is a file one hash file one dot get method the array the index number zero I'm adding only the one file only dot files property if image save dot length is greater than zero which means we have selected the file through this file upload controller and that file I'm saving using the append method data dot append method and this append method takes the object name the first parameter the object we are getting from this web API URL this one image save the key name we have added image save between double quotes we have to add this one image save let's change this one image save image save image comma the object value we are getting from the save image which is an error zero semicolon so now let's add the ajax functionality dollar dot ajax first one is uh, the ajax method the type the type you are posting the data so I am adding the post the second one is the URL URL column between double quotes the path 
the web URL path is this one copy that one and paste here comma now I'm adding two most important properties content type false and the second one this is comma and the second method is a process data which is also false then data column data the data we are getting from this variable I have added dot then function let's add the semicolon here now in this then function I'm adding this span ID to display the message the selected files the upload files are saved or not dollar between double quotes I'm adding hash the ID of the span tag dot text property image saved successfully that's it we have done the complete coding part first we have added the entity model with the table and the store procedure then we have created the web API then we have created the MVC controller and the last we got the index view page to consume the web API now before run this project the most important we have to change the controller name to change the controller name open solution explorer go to top in the project there is a app underscore start folder expand that one route config.cs file open that one and notice here the controller is the home which is a default one delete that one and i'm adding our controller name is img mvc controller img i'm adding that one here and the action result view page is the index only which is this one that's it now it's time to check the results Google Chrome and here we got the final output notice the header tags upload images into folder and image path into SQL server database using stored processors in web API in MVC with jQuery now let's upload the file choose file Now I'm selecting the file the web API joint tables I have selected this image file JPEG file open now before save this images first we'll check the project folder is created or not show all files notice there is no any images folder here and also in our database the table execute and table executed successfully and this table contains zero rows right now let's insert the data save images and here we got a message image saved successfully let's check in the first the image is saved or not show all files again see so here we got the images folder is added with the image web api joint tables this is the file we have saved web api joint tables now we'll check the database the path and image name is saved or not execute and here we got the results notice the image path and image name is saved here the headings are changed so let's fix that one in the web api this upload file name which is an image path and save image that's it this is the image path the second parameter is the image name let's switch to the index view page we'll check the results this time google chrome now 
here we got the final output after we changing the column headings now let's select the file choose file the image checklist box transfer I'm selecting that one open save images and here we got a message image saved successfully let's check in the folder show all files see see here the image is successfully saved in this images folder now let's check in the database execute and here we got the new results after we changed the columns the image name is this one and the image path here before we got the image path in the image name and the image path column we got the image name that's it